Here, here I am in a house loaded with cowboy hats, <laughs> guns, lassos, guns, uh, just about everything that's a Wild West show. How did Bill Frost get interested in that? Well, I guess I'd have to go back as a kid because my parents were into horses and breaking horses and so on. And so later on when they bought the big place, why well, then they uh, went into the horse business big time. This is around here? Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, the big place was down a place called Van Buren, west of Dunkirk. Mm -hmm. We had about 500 acres there. And uh, so we kept as many as 70 head of horses. And, and so I was meeting cowboys all the time because we used to ship horses in out of Miles City, Montana and, and uh, different other places out west. And so as a little kid, I my heroes are all cowboys and uh, so I was addicted right away. I had to learn how to spin ropes and rope and and uh, do stunt riding on horseback and who taught you that? Uh, my father uh, as far as trick roping is concerned he was pretty good at lassoing cows, horses uh, he did, just did some of the trick fancy rope spinning but basics and he did it for his own amusement. He never went out and hired out to do it. So the first time I see him do it, I was addicted. And uh, I got help from some of these rodeo people and so on. And so I went on and so I've had a booking agent for quite a few years now. And I've went all over the country doing trick roping exhibitions. And, and gun spinning. Then also I got into, I couldn't get my act long enough with the ropes. Since I'd been brought up with uh, guns, I thought, hmm, I can incorporate that. So I do the gun juggling and spinning and the quick draw. I got it down to 31 hundredths of a second for draw to hit uh, for the last time on a timer. Now, did you use a swivel holster or did you actually pull it out of the holster? Uh, pull it out of holster, yeah. And, and point 0.31 seconds? 31 hundredths. They don't give you time to blink your eye or to say the word bang. I had a funny thing. I had a friend that had a TV station, a uh, spot on a TV station up in the Adirondacks, and he wanted to film me doing this to put on his show. And uh, <laughs> so I'm getting warmed up just doing dry fire. Click, click. So the guy sitting there, he's got a stopwatch. He says, I don't like to time you. And I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> Three times he tried to time me, he couldn't even get the button pressed. Yeah. <laughs> I've made the most money in my Wild West stuff to doing the trick and fancy roping. I've done it for colleges and you name it, I've been there. Stage name? Wild Bill. Wild Bill? Wild Bill Frost. <laughs> <laughs> now the Wild Bill is called Wimpy Bill. <laughs> <You can hold. laughs> I never thought I'd get old, but by golly, I, I did do it. I was out in Arizona. 20-some years ago, and I happened to see this town where they held Wild West shows, so, hmm, we're going to have one Sinclairville, so that's where I got the idea. And uh, so those are finished off inside just like they were in the 1800s. Wow. In the saloon, I got bars from the late 1800s, two bars in there, and, of course, the jail and the mercantile and the bank. <laughs> and we always say, put your money in our bank, you never have to worry about it again. <laughs> but anyway, we held this show, and just two years ago we held our last one here. And uh, my goodness, we had so many people, we had to open up the hay fields, put the cars in, and it just was a great success. And uh, But I've enjoyed working with these guys. We had the saloon girls, we had the, the bank robbery, and... <laughs> And whip cracking and, of course, the guns. And then we also had mounted cowboy shooting out here, too, where you have to shoot the balloons off the running horses through the patterns. Yeah. So I introduced that sport into the state of New York. Now that's grown, expanded in the whole United States now. Anyway, I started it, but then I started having hip trouble, and I had to quit riding. And where did you get the actors to play out this Wild West show you had. <laughs> that was something. <clears throat> I just started uh, putting the word out, first of all, and uh, most of these boys are within 50 miles of us, and uh, 
So this guy here said, well, I, I could be your sheriff, okay? Then, of course, my son, Bill, he's been brought up to this also. So he uh, does trick shooting and uh, whip cracking. He's one of these whip crackers, so nobody's volunteered to have him crack the cigarette out of his mouth yet. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, but then, of course, my son-in-law, he's into this stuff, and uh, uh, it was kind of through him that I went ahead and made this thing happen. And uh, so he's a big ham, and <laughs> but he likes doing this mounted shooting, and... Of course, he's pretty good as, as an MC. And so anyway, we picked up one here. Then they found one that used to work for shows out in the out west, uh, local boy. And so he volunteered. There's a guy in um, Frewsburg. He's he's a kind of a mainstay with our show because he is the one of the best quick draw people around. Period. And uh, something he's done all his life just as a hobby. And uh, when he got connected with me, now he can show off to people. Sure. <laughs> and uh, so we called him Black Bart. But anyway, we had the, what, five of us mainly, a whipcracker. Yeah. And uh, my thing was in the show was mainly the doing the fancy rope work. So I demonstrated Mexican-style roping as well as American-style, you know. And uh, so now it's getting hard to work, shoulders bothers them. And yeah, we first started here in the driveway as a promotional thing for the shop. And uh, have people come and, and have shooting contests and whatever. Then when I put up that town, then it moved out there. Not much room in here. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you went, you went too far here. <laughs> you went <laughs> too far.